All right. Uh, really fast. Listen to this. It's all about Obama. We all know it's all about Is Obama. It? Yes. All right. Get on the Obama train, will you? I uh, I can't. Why? Because it ain't gonna happen. It's a useless vote. It is a a useless vote. And and again, if I have to vote uh, Republican because the Democrats can't come up with a real uh, non comedy ticket, uh, I I'll vote Republican again. What if Obama had an entire white staff? Who See? are they? See, I'm, no, well, he has an entire black staff, and I think that's what's going to hurt him uh, a little yeah. bit as well. Because you got to warm up Whitey a little bit to the idea that um, we might have a black president. He better start warming up uh, middle America. What is it going to take? Be a problem. We discussed this yesterday. What is it going to take? A white man. <laughs> <laughs> a white uh, man that is um, kind of uh, middle of the road, not, not uh, liberal, not a crazy liberal. Not a, a, a crazy conservative, but a Democrat that isn't completely liberal on everything, that follows that Democratic friggin' line right down there, just like the Republicans follow that stupid conservative line on everything. You can't make up your own mind on individual issues. you got to buy the whole ticket. Enough. So if, you know, there's some guy like that, yeah, he'll, be vo he'll be voted in. Well, like, he, he was on Larry King uh, recently. Yeah. And by the way, it's, uh, this clip's not about Obama. No. Uh, Larry King asks Obama a question. Uh huh. It's the question or the statement that Larry King makes that is very interesting. I was just saying in a little Obama talk. Uh, of course. Doesn't mean crap to it uh, as far as what we're about to play here. I do have the answer, by the way, for the type of black man that would win presidency. It's, it's not an all black staff, but he should be forced to address all white people the way Morgan Freeman addressed Jessica Tandy in driving this dude. <laughs> <laughs> With that same reverence and love. That could help. <laughs> I don't think his middle name of Hussein helps either, to tell you the truth. I know what's in a name. A rose by any other name. A mm by, a by any other. You can't have the name Hussein in this day and age and become president. Why? We can't have a president where his the name Hussein comes into play. Why couldn't Barack Obama, uh, you know, be a candidate for the 1984 presidency? Why yeah. did it have to be this one with uh, Osama still out there? Osama somewhere? bin Laden's Osama, out there, so his name Obama, sounds like Osama. Saddam Hussein. His middle name is Hussein. Who the hell am I voting it's ridiculous. for? Ridiculous. His last name should be Hitler. <laughs> yeah. Pete Hitler. Pete Hitler would win. And we all know. This guy. And we all know, including the people listening to us right now, that <laughs> America in general is uh, filled with a bunch of uh, dummies. They're yeah, gonna get, they're for gonna, the most part. They're going to get very confused, and they're going to really believe that they're voting for Osama. Osama bin Laden Hussein is running for what? <laughs> I'm not pulling that lever. It probably releases uh, anthrax. <laughs> right. All right, listen to this. Uh, from Larry King, just another classic Classic uh, soundbite from Larry King. Then we will be with them That's as Obama. partners, but this is not something in which we can simply impose a military solution. President Kennedy wants congressional consent for this troop increase. You support that? Well, uh, my office is looking <laughs> at uh, a variety of options uh. to place some conditions on the president's actions. <laughs> uh, who? President Kennedy, <laughs> did he did he refer to President Bush as President Kennedy? Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, Obama didn't even. Obama should have picked up on didn't it. Even Larry, pause. Didn't you even doddering pause. old fool! It's time to retire, President Kennedy. What do you think about his troop increase in the Nam? <laughs> uh, Larry. Larry, hello. It's two thousand seven. Two thousand seven, Larry. What are you talking about? Uh, the New Deal. Are you for it <laughs> or against it? What about it? The New Deal. That Woody Wilson, he's a madman. Obama, your comments. <laughs> right. Obama, how do you feel about the Whig Party? <laughs> <laughs> you think you can hold them off in this upcoming election? Sarah, connect me to Chicago. We have a caller. <laughs> Let me climb the telephone pole and talk to him. We have another call coming in over the humming wires. Stupid Larry King.
<laughs> President Kennedy. Obama, what's going to be done with all that land now that we've made the Louisiana Purchase? <laughs> Got a good deal on that from what I hear. Right. Yeah. President Kennedy. Do you think you can win all 32 states? <laughs> <laughs> what a dope. He was off by one party and 45 years. <laughs> <laughs> An ass. Let's go to a Western Union from Bill in Texas. <laughs> Larry, stop. What do you think about the railroads meeting coast to coast? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Spike, a waste of money? What do you think, Obama? <laughs> wow. Uh, remember to post your letters to Larry King so the Pony Express could pick it up and deliver it to me. We were writing that one down. Ben had that one for you. <laughs> Someone's someone is uh, writing on the instant feedback. Uh, Big duties, Jay. He's a faithful listener from Jersey. Holy ass, Larry King can speak with the dead. Yeah, that's what he's doing. I was speaking with President Lincoln the other day. But why, President? You know, he needs this crap like he needs a hole in the head. <laughs> but why, President Kennedy? I, I yeah. What what slip up was that? How do you slip that bad? That does, it's not even in the ballpark. And even a ballpark. You want to hear that again real fast? <laughs> yeah, I got to hear it. All right. How naturally he says it and doesn't even realize he said it. Obama didn't realize. Or maybe he did and he didn't. And he's he just being know. polite. Don't be polite. Point him out. Go, he probably, hey, yeah. That's probably it. He was being yeah. polite. He knew what he meant. Yeah. But, man, I mean, you and I would just be like, oh, what? It's like you, we will you meant six presidents later or something like that? that? Yeah. This is not something in which we can simply impose a military solution. President Kennedy wants congressional <laughs> consent for this troop increase. You support that? Well, so matter of fact. Too. Oh, my God. Wait, Obama. Sad news, Justin. He's been shot in Dallas. <laughs> this. Oh, my goodness. Kennedy's been shot. <laughs> what a tool. <laughs> Obama, do you get cable in that cave? <laughs> Just, he doesn't even know who he's talking to. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> Maybe he meant Senator Kennedy? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. No, then. he said President Kennedy, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he said, oh, he said right. President right. Kennedy. I just started heating up like, oh, boy, we're going to we're gonna be looked like no. idiots. No, he screwed up. President Kennedy, well. <sighs> All right. Well, that's just a little quickie, and uh, of course, if we're talking about Larry King, we got to just play this really fast. It's it's a quickie, but it's one of our faves of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, here they come at the Palladium in Los Angeles. They're back together, their first live get together in five years. The Motley Crew. <laughs> oh. The Motley, Motley Crew are, are back. back. I didn't even know they were gone. The Motley Crew. Ladies and gentlemen, the Benny Goodman. <laughs> we got a phone call here from uh, Mr. Jack Ruby. Jack Ruby, you're on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the Motley Crew. And then, uh, yeah, this is a good one, too. We haven't played in a while. Roseanne Barr explains the Internet to Larry King. I still call her uh, Roseanne Barr, by the way. Yeah. The Internet as a political medium. Viable? Yeah, it's like the only one left. Idiot. Absolutely, and that's what, that's not just me saying it. That's everybody saying it. But there's 80 billion things on it. Yeah, but if you know where to look, you know, it all, it all can come together. When you're looking for the particular information that you're looking for, after you do the big search, this is what I found out by going on there, it just takes your mind and then you live in there forever. You, you never can never come it. out. Never gone searching. Oh, my God, it just it opens up the whole universe. It's so awesome. You would love it. No, Anything you want to know. The wife loves it. I wouldn't love it. What do you punch all the little buttons and things? And you just click on this thing, you but then you've got to be able to read. So you have to have uh, strong glasses when you're over 50. And then you just scroll down and click. Scroll? It's not that hard. I can show you how to do it. Like the Dead Sea Scrolls? <laughs> I'll be reading those tomorrow. They're relevant. <laughs> 
are you on CNN every night? What is the internet? You push some buttons and pull levers. It sounds like an episode of Lost in Space. <laughs> right. What is he talking about? <laughs> you push buttons and levers, and I hear these tapes go spinning and spinning. How does he get his job done without using the internet? Flashing lights and blooping sounds. It's the internet. You get information. For, it's the the information you can pull off the internet is better than any you can get anywhere as long as, like Roseanne was saying, you know where to look, yeah. how to decipher the, the uh, real stuff from the, uh, the bull crap, and then kind of you can form your own opinion based on a lot of other people's input. And, and shouldn't he know about that? Not even if you, you could say, no, I don't use it. I know about it. I've tried. I've used it. But I don't want to push buttons. Yeah, he's scared of the Internet. Ah, frightened of it. We uh... Uh, Someone sent me something once, and it looked like a car commercial. So I watched it, and then a scary face went, ah! <laughs> and I had my volume up loud, and I refused to open another one I of those emails. Slept, I haven't slept since. By the way, those scare the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm a sap for those things. Oh, do I hate those? I was in my office, and it said, cute kittens. So uh -huh. I turned it up real loud. And I love kittens. So Back in the day, as Ted Turner was walking through. Right. So I turned up the volume, because it said, turn up the volume, you're going to see some cute kittens. And they were adorable. They really were. Right up until the loud volume started yelling, the boss is the C word. <laughs> the boss is the C word. And I didn't know the how to turn it off. The C word. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorites of all time, by the way. You know, we'll be talking about the inter uh, Internet and Rutherford B. Hayes <laughs> tomorrow on my show. <laughs> Ever since I saw Tub Girl. <laughs> Tub Girl. I haven't turned my computer on. <laughs> you push buttons. My wife loves it. I don't, she was talking about something called horse gag the other day. <laughs> She just watches it over and over. Whenever I come over to take a look, though, she closes something. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a, what an idiot. How could you be in media? I don't care how old you are. Stop it, old people. Especially in the media. This guy should be internet savvy. Just for this show alone, I try to read about 10 papers, you know, all the basics like Chicago Sun Times. I get into the Philly papers, the Boston papers, the Washington papers, the New York papers. Yeah. I could go on Cleveland, Dallas. All within a half hour, I could, I could read about 10 papers because it's on the internet. What is he? He's got to get all those papers delivered and, and thumb through it trying to find stuff. Not only stuff. that, yeah, you got to go through all kinds of garbage in the newspapers too to, to get to the juicy stories. There are many websites you could go to that just list, you know, a bunch of the top stories, the interesting things that people want to talk about, things like that. He knows nothing of this? Right. Oof. The Motley Crew. All right, let's uh, let's say hi to Greg on Long Island. A lot of calls coming from Long Island today. We love seeing that. Hey there, Greg. What's up, Greg? Hey guys. Hey. hey. He, Larry King just got to be uh, ease up on him. He's just a little confused because both uh, presidents don't have a brain in their head. Both presidents. Yes. Your call had potential, man, but you just didn't have any yeah. any confidence. Why? Oh, I get it, because right. Kennedy, oh, has no Kennedy brain. had no brain because it was In shot end, out of his head. And Bush and seems Bush to have no brain. He's okay. silly. All right, Greg. That's okay. All right. We'll let you slide. My yeah. favorite part of that Larry King Motley Crew intro, I love the fact he calls him the Motley Crew, but I also love the fact that he goes, it's their first get-together. Get first get-together. <laughs> get-together. Right. Get Larry, you know what these guys used to do? It's Playing a concerto for you. A get-together. <laughs> They used to bang broads and then take tacos and do, <laughs> oh. and, and let's just say wash so they wouldn't get caught for, you know, cheating by the, the, the women they were going they out at the time. They would wash themselves with burritos and tacos and Mexican food. Right. That was available around the corner from the house they all lived in. Get together. These guys used to, like, do heroin together. Yeah. You know, one of them died with a needle in his arm and was brought back to life. Right. Uh, get together, a little coffee clutch. <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore. Larry wants to know what's with that lonely girl 15. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do dig her on the YouTube. She's adorable. <laughs> uh, it would be great if we found out Larry was an Internet predator. <laughs> <laughs> Larry King, you've come to this house for sex. Hi, it's LK1065. <laughs> How are you? 13. 
Here are some pictures of me. I know how to send pictures nude. <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's why he's going on a show claiming he has no clue about the I know internet. nothing about this, and please don't look at my hard drive loaded with pictures of that cute Dakota fanning. <laughs> I've got mail. I know what that means. Oh, boy, they're coming in. Will trade picks of same. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. There's a house in the suburbs. You want me to come over and visit? <laughs> Bring some Zima and condoms? Okay. I'm in. See you there. I'm 28 years old. <laughs> I know you. You're Chris Hansen from Dateline. What are you doing here? I'm banging this broad. <laughs> <laughs> you won't believe who came into our house next. Larry King. He thought we were having a get-together. <laughs> All right, Chris, you know, the whole thing. We work like the cops, you know, the that blue wall. <laughs> Don't say anything, okay? I'm leaving now. You're free to go. Get on the floor! Get on the floor! Oh, no! The Keystone cops are after me. Maybe if I run, they'll run in fast motion and I could give them a slip. <laughs> Uh, That's it. Hey, sweetie, you want some garlic? <laughs> Here, drink some of this Welch's grape juice. I spiked it with vodka. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just let me finish my cookie, Chris, and iced tea that the young lady poured me before you arrest me. By the way, everyone's saying that he meant... Uh... Senator Kennedy. Oh, whatever. We just uh, we got you got twenty minutes of hilarity because of because of that. I don't care if he meant senator. He said president. Yeah, guy's a jackass. I was hoping he got the president wrong too, but all right, whatever.